Hi guys, today I'm going to be going over lean proteins, what they are, when you should consume them, where you can buy them, and really just a little bit about them. So I have probably the lean proteins that I use the most. Now what is a lean protein? So there's two types of proteins. There's a lean protein and there's a fatty protein and the name says it all. A lean protein is going to have lower fat percentage than a higher fatty protein. So if these are lean proteins, then what are fatty proteins? So let's go over our lean proteins first and then I can talk a little bit about those. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering a little bit about whey isolate protein. I have ground turkey and this is 97.3. I have chicken breasts. I have some deli turkey, a zero fat Greek yogurt and some white albacore tuna. Now, these are items that I use on a regular basis. These are some of my kitchen and pantry staples, and I have put them in order of which ones have the most uh, fat and which ones have the least in our lean protein category. So whey isolate, depending on which brand you have, is gonna have anywhere between one gram to four grams per serving. Ground turkey is the highest in this category. It has eight grams per every four ounces cooked. Everything from the chicken breast on to the end has either one gram of fat to half a gram of fat. So that's very little fat that these contain. And let's talk about the calories in fat and the calories in protein. So for every one gram of protein, there are four calories. However, for every one gram of fat, there are nine calories. So when we eat more fat, we're definitely stacking up more calories. Now, there isn't a bad or a good protein. It really just comes down to how much you consume on a daily basis. However, there's a couple reasons on why you should opt for lean proteins. Uh, one of them is if you are new to consuming enough protein, then easing your way into your adequate amount is ideal. Also, giving your body a variety of proteins. These proteins here are a little bit easier to digest on your body, so it's very common that when you start increasing the amount of protein you have, you consume, uh, you're gonna see constipation because your body doesn't know how to break it down. These are a little bit more gentle on your body than if you go towards a fatty protein like a ground beef or steak or something in that area. So. These lean proteins are also beneficial when you are going into a calorie deficit. Maybe they cut back your fat and now you have to still consume high amounts of protein but reduce the fat. These are great options. I'm going to go over which ones have the most protein in this category and that is your albacore white tuna. So this one little can, I believe it's about, uh, I'm going to say four ounces, it's 153 grams once you drain out the water, has 41 grams of protein. Literally, if I eat two of these, it almost covers all my protein intake for the day. So this is a really, really, really high protein, very little fat. Greek yogurt is also one of my favorites because of the amount of protein that it has. It has about 18 grams of protein per serving, which is 170 grams. This little guy has three servings. Really good to have for breakfast, as a snack, or even to add to your shakes. Moving on to my next one, deli turkey. I am a fan of sandwiches and adding uh, deli meats to my salad, so this is a staple as well. Um, it also has about one gram of fat per serving, and I'm talking about a six ounce serving. So really good way to include it in your salads, include it in your meals, and obviously not include all the fat. My next one and my favorite one is chicken breast. You can never go wrong with chicken breast, especially when you get it on a really good deal. Value packs will have a better price than if you buy a smaller pack. So keep an eye out for value packs when you go to your store. But also it is so versatile. You can never go wrong with chicken breast. You can cook it in so many different ways. Um, you can have it for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, really just get creative. But also a really good um, lean protein that's gonna be higher in protein and lower in fat. Ground turkey, also my favorite. I like to get these in bulk at Costco because it, it honestly has the best price. You're gonna save a lot of money. Also very easy to cook. It lasts well in your fridge and there's many, many, many ways that you can cook it. And last but not least, our whey protein. This is ideal for anybody that is always on the go, for anybody that is struggling to get your protein in. 
this is a good way uh, to start off. You can throw one scoop or two scoops of protein in your shake and that'll take care of um, one or two meals. You can make these overnight. You can have this as a pre-workout, as a post-workout meal. Um, so really, 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 really beneficial. If you don't have one, we have them at the gym. I'm a fan of the vanilla flavor just because you can add many different combinations of fruits and give it a different flavor. If you buy a specific flavor like chocolate, or it limits you on the amount of combinations that you can make. So what is the difference between having a lean protein before or after your workout versus having fatty protein before and after your workout? Well, fats take a little bit longer to digest. So if you have something with higher fat content before your workout, you might still be digesting your food during your workout and you're not going to be comfortable. You might get a little bit bloated. You might feel like your food's going to come out. So ideally, opt for something that is that has a lean protein before your workout. And then after your workout, you can consume something that has a little bit higher fat content. So you fuel up, you fuel your muscles, and it helps you recover. So all in all, guys, that's a little bit about lean proteins. I hope that you found this beneficial. If you guys have any questions regarding any of the ingredients that you found in this video or anything regarding lean proteins, please feel free to send us an email or send us a DM. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon.